past coaches, I guess, didn't like that five inch increase. Of course, he does, so simple. <laughs> Did you always do that, though? I mean, is that always been you? Right. I mean, I've always worked on shooting, you know, stepping outside, but um, Coach D likes big shooting threes, so that's why I shoot him. How did you convince Coach, Coach D'Ambro to let you, let you shoot threes? I mean, Coach D sees, you know, he saw my game. He, he knows uh, how, like, how I play. I uh, played against him when I was at Eastern. Uh, he was coaching at Akron, and he saw I could shoot a little bit there, so um, he really liked that part of my game. Sin, why do you think you guys got into such an early hole, and why were you guys able to turn it around as convincingly as you did? When you all, as you guys were seeming to lead a lot of the assists in the second half, what was it about your togetherness that really allowed you to kind of feed off of each other to either of you? Are you playing uh, pain free now that you had the procedure at the end of last season? Are you yes, pretty sir. much? I'm playing, I'm, playing, uh, I'm playing pain free and also I'm, uh, I'm also going to keep working on just uh, becoming stronger so I won't have another injury down the road. Were you fighting through the injury last season? Yes, sir. At, uh, before I had my surgery, I was. How, how tough was that for you? Uh, it, was, it was just my knee was. Sin, what went into your uh, three-point shooting in the offseason, working on that, and how much what validation to provide that you had three or so go in tonight? Bailey, how was it guarding 34? It seemed like he was physical and was trying to get in position. You seemed to get the better of him for the most part in the second half. Um, yeah, the first half, uh, I was just letting him get deep position on me. Um, second half, I tried to push him off the spot and not let him get an easy catch. So that was really good. Was it the plan for you to shoot more <coughs> conventional two-pointers in the second half rather than shoot to three in the second half? Uh, no, that's just what came with the game, you know, um, came with the flow of the game. What was the halftime message that you guys got? Something that happened down for you guys at the same point, per se, what was the message you brought up? Just like I said, just, uh, we, we need to play harder, give it our own, and uh, play more together as a team. Because uh, we were playing selfish, and it's hard when you are going one on five and not moving the ball. And once we play hard, harder than them, we, they can end up being tired. So we either of you, I know that Austin played in the exhibition game, but to see him come back and as strong as he is, especially maybe him playing now wouldn't have been a given. What does that say about the way that he's able to contribute to this team and the determination that he has? Um, Austin, I mean, me being a five man, uh, working with him every day, I mean, he's a really hard worker, um, so he just brings it every day. He's determined to get back uh, before we start playing. Yeah, for me to see Austin, I play basketball with Austin, so Every time it makes a step, that uh, is, is exciting for me because I know since we were younger, so we're kind of on this, on this path together. So I want to see him succeed more than I succeed. And it's a great feeling for me. Sincere, uh, this time last year, you were making your college debut. Now, 
your sophomore, uh, you know, the East team. How, you know, what what's the biggest takeaway or thing that you've learned over the past year? And how does it, if it feels different, how does it feel? How does it feel different? Uh, really just staying calm and collective. Like, uh, I mean, being a freshman, like, you're, you're very excited because it's your first college game. You've worked for your whole life. And you kind of just play fast. And it's hard playing fast because it's the pace. that I had to make from freshman to my sophomore year was being more of a local leader. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not there yet, but I'm still making the community each day. Uh, no, on that, um, about him being a local leader, more of a local leader, uh, halftime, uh, first half, 34 was, uh, he was working me pretty good and he, he let me know, you know, so I knew I had to do better. Uh, so it was good that he let me know. Uh, you mentioned the game being fast and you need to adjust to that when you play college. The second half today, you guys sped up the game a lot. For instance, start for, uh, call, turning the ball over more, I mean to say. How important is it for you guys to play with that amount of speed and for you to be used to that? Uh, it all starts in practice. So we, uh, we do drills like we just play three minutes, no stops, no out of bounds. So, we, uh, so the point of it is just to get tired so we can get used to said about kind of being, you know, really excited, you know, working to get to the point of being a freshman and playing your first college games. What did you see from the newcomers tonight, uh, you know, guys that just joined the team? What did, uh, I think they they all did well. Uh, you know, Macy, uh, he, he's going to be better every night. He'll, he'll get better as he learns the system. Uh, he speaks for himself. And uh, Evan, uh, he, does, he does things that are not in the stat sheet, so you won't know if he's doing good or not if you're not watching him. I know it's out of one game, but what do you think is going to be the biggest difference between this this year's team and last year's team? Uh, just our togetherness and our depth. Uh, we uh, were more, uh, last year we were just teammates, now we're more of a family. You know? We got each other back and we trust each other. It's going to be somebody new every night that's up here. That it? That one?